Hello there, Internet's version 2 here with Let's Play Paper Mario. Today, we're back at the castle. That is way the fuck up in space, I think? I, Because th it goes to night time, and they had to have gone to full on space. But how is anyone breathing? Mighty King Bells, I've been looking for you! What do you mean you- Oh right, because I guess in the castle it might- There's like a bunch of things to look around in the castle, and yeah, we fucked up the Goomba King! And we're going back to town. Unbelievable. Really? It was unbelievable that you weren't able to defeat me because all you did was send me electricity. And then it was unbelievable that I defeated a Goomba? Bowser, you're not- Okay. Because he begged you. <laughs> well, uh, what a wimp. Ah, uh, uh, it's fine. You are sure the Pokemon never do. I like how already, before Mario is done really anything, Bowser's already starting with the back down of, um, are we fucked? He's small time. You, you, then why did you even bother with him? You're definitely invincible. But then, well then why didn't you do it? Then why didn't you do it? Why is he still alive? Why'd you leave Mario alive? They don't have any way of giving Mario their power. Gee! Don't worry. They're held separately. And carefully guarded by your handpicked subjects. You know, instead of all of them being kept up in this castle. You know, in the fucking sky that's hard to get to. Or space or whatever. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Because, I mean, it's not like he's done that kind of shit before. Actually... How many... How, how many stars were there in, um... Is it, is it the Super Mario RPG, is that like Legend of the Seven Stars or something? How many stars are in that game? And how hard does he get them? Because that there. It's a Koopa Bros Fortress, that's the closest one. If he reaches there, can they defeat him? You mustn't worry. We're fucking legendary and we'll kill him all. Oh, by the way, it's the Koopa Bros. Yeah! Dun 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 dun. Look at these motherfuckers. Oh, look at them all give their thumbs thumbs up. They're all getting ready to just um, end time limited form. They're fucking ready for it. They're the coolest of cool. You dig? A are, are you sure? This gigantic and he couldn't be my- Yeah, but all he would do, do is kick me. Pshaw! He was a Wimpola, yeah. All these words. Aw, oh, the pa aww, teamwork and friendship and love and magic will all- aww. Aw, it's so sweet. Sell it, Cooper Bros, because selling is the most important thing in your profession. By the way, the Cooper Bros are now wrestlers, and that's what I'm going to be running with for the rest of this. They're wrestlers. Alright, fucking show us your finisher. Come on. It's a tag finisher. It's fucking legendary. Fucking oh my- oh. This is why you, this is why you just need the um, McMahon reaction gif, but just Bowser's face instead, because that's what's happening right now. Why is this metaphor working way better than I expected? Oh, this is the best. Oh, the, oh, I love it. <laughs> Boom! He won't have a chance if you finish him with your finisher, given the fact that you know it's called a damn finisher. About the capture stars where I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding it right now? Nobody. We're here, so... Get, get back to the fortress. Come on. Guard the briefcase. You can't just have a ladder match end by no one standing there and Mario is running up and then just putting the ladder up and going, Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna grab the money in the bank now and then fucking run off. It's just, that's... God, that would... C could you imagine the walkout? Uh, I mean, like, I get that Mario is basically like the John Cena of the Mario universe, but I mean... Like, fuck, it can't be that easy for him. It works way too well. This metaphor is working too well. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, but by, by the way, there's nothing in this tree at all. What are you talking about? There's still nothing connecting these goddamn strings. What, 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 what's this one? What, give me. Give me a shit. Ooh, hammer throw. Awesome. All right, we've got to equip that now. This is why I got- this is why I got six badge points. Cause fucking hammer throw! Well, there's a whole bunch at the beginning. Alright, oh, I can't walk them. Right, cause you gotta actually walk through down the bottom. Cause what- oh! Not like that. Like this. Oh, have you anything to say? Outskirts of- uh, if we go that way- okay. 
super interesting. I'm glad I, I'm glad I stopped you for that for that dialogue. I'm glad I did it. Anyway, we're back to Toe Town and the place of the ship. It's a me, Mario. I'm legendary. The princess is kidnapped. The castle's uprooted. It's Bedlam. Oh, what's it? What's it? Beldum. No, it's Beldum. Spell it right. God, everything's Pokemon. Um, well, I gotta go to the mountain thing. And then I'll be awesome, and then I'll save the world. So, it's flown up into the sky. No, no castle horrors. Only a hole remains. Double left castle. Where is it? You just said where it was. You just said it was in the sky. Pay fucking attention. Come on. Get your shit together. Ah, it's I'm, I'm 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 physically like jumping way over. Oh, it's bullshit. Never mind. Never mind. Hi everyone. How we going? Earthquake was terrifying and everything, and you fell over. And you'll forget that it ever happened. But it's a bit difficult to do when we haven't started rebuilding yet. We, uh, it doesn't get. Oh, so the castle's been uprooted, and you care about the place being tidy. The, ca the, the castle's gone, so he's at home. When, uh, when I said I'm glad, um, cause dad's at home, I got scolded. Uh, oh. Oh, you have to be a good boy and say home. Aww. Kids are so naive and fucking stupid. Aww. It's at points like this that I wish I had the speed up thing already, but I don't. Castle's taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. Their dark days don't die. Not even close. Never mind. Well, I... I guess it was like three words, so never mind. Anyway, everyone in town is suffering, yet my heart cares nothing but for you. Oh. My heart, it cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. Yeah, pretty much. You're both terrible. Enjoy each other. You fucking deserve each other. You bastards. Is this the researcher? Yeah, it's the researcher, dude. So, salutations. I am. She am Mario. He's rusty. Don't mind him. He's just a little bit rusty. All the music in here is interesting. Anyway, he's gonna dump a knowledge bomb on our brain. You crave knowledge, how about this? Uh, there exists a star haven where stars make their home and there's a star rod. Yeah, yeah, we heard about all of this at the beginning of the first episode. Fucking keep up or we'll all explode. It's your... Yeah, okay, what else do you know? Um, uh, uh, on how to operate the control... Really? Oh, oh, we do have the spin dash? Oh, I thought, um... Yeah, uh, it's good. Oh, do we already have the spin? Are we all... Oh! I thought you needed a badge to get the spin a spin dash. Or am I thinking of a badge to... Oh, I think there's a badge to make it... Uh, to make that into an attack. No, we already have it. Oh. Okay. Well, you told me how to operate the controls, but thank you, because I legitimately forgot this was now, yeah. You, you get, because, because every, like, open world game has to have a fucking roll button that you press instead of just, like, a run button, so you can hear an awkward sound effect and have to mash the button the entire time to go faster, this game has that too. Alright, in the pipe we go. Well, this is to the best place in the game. Mario's house! And Luigi's just singing away his worries, not giving a shit that the castle was yet. Weren't you at the castle? Where did you run off to? And what do you mean you wonder? Do you, do, are you not going to look for me? Luigi, you're a terrible brother. Yeah, good to see you too. Thanks for coming to rescue me, you fuck. Yeah, you were really worried. So worried that I was sitting on my front porch singing. Like, no, I was about to say a day later, but no, they did say that it was a couple days in the Toad House. Never mind. Uh, you managed to escape the time. Well... You were smart instead of just running back and forth. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Goomba. So. It's Goombario. So. You're an, you're an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. Well, maybe if you came and looked for me. Oh, take care of Mario. If you came, Maybe if you came and looked for me, I'd invite you. But no, I'm just going to sing on my fucking porch. Not nothing there yet. So, I'm in this awkward position because I know, especially around Toad Town and at Mario's house, a bunch of shit like happens between chat. I love how there's all these pipes here, like how they get to all their different lands. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of shit that like changes between chapters um, in Toad Town and Mario's house. So there's a whole bunch of new things, but I don't know what happens when. So I've got to look up like a whole list of just like when different events happen in Toad Town because a bunch of them are really interesting, and I want to make sure I get the interesting ones. Um, don't sleep. You're a big string. Um, where 
that let us go, go to just a Mario, and it's empty, and there's that, and there's this floor, which doesn't look different from what, um, any reason whatsoever. I know about the secret thing with that, so you don't need to tell me. But And I know the secret, secret thing about that as well, so you don't need to tell me that either. But in terms of, like, I know a whole bunch of things that happen in the town, but I just forget when they happen. Don't worry, I'll try, I'll try my best to get them all, and if I don't get them all, then I'll probably mention it. Because I want to show off everything in this game. Mainly because I just want to play this game a bunch, which I think is like, I think I just quoted the playlist description, it's fine. You can carry up to 10 items, and they can hold items, and it's pretty awesome. And, uh, yes, I am going to talk to everyone, because talking is fun. Oh, hey, it's the sisters! Flew away! How could such a thing happen? What will become of the castle and the others who are there? I, Felicity, am so scared. Do we get the other names? No, we only get the name of Felicity. Oh. It's a consistent trend, and I love it. I kind of like the team names. You don't have it. The degree, Mario. The degree shows you. Ah, I have it. I fought the dojo master over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toad. Um, so keep this in mind that this dude has the degree, um, and he got it from the master. I don't remember if the degree is the big one or if it's one of the little ones, but keep that in mind. Luigi's wondering how you were doing. Through the pipe over there. Everyone knows how to get over to my pipe. And yeah, I already went there, so. We're here, training as the dojo, unless the master, ma master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. Well, I just arrived saying the master will return soon, and we'll train again soon. What have you got to say? Wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. He's gone, he's get, he went, it was a strong man, he's gonna come back a very strong man. Alright, you guys wait there. Yeah, again, I can't remember if the degree's the big one or the big, big one for the dojo, but yeah. Still remember that the toad got it. Sup, worried shopkeeper? Um, nah. Nah. This one doesn't have- this, it's not- no, this game doesn't have the point system. Where, like, every time you buy an item, you can accumulate points, and then you get, like, big item bonuses based on how many points you've gotten. I'm aware that, like, nothing's happening in this episode so far, but it's just- it's just nice and relaxing to just wander around Toad Town, and, you know, smack trees and get star pieces. That's what I remember. The thief of our castle caused great destruction. Worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed to rain wood, and we can't get to the southern part of town. Train station and the port, many important things lie south. And that's why you can't get there just yet. Toad Town News Flash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown. And where the castle once stood, there is a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, this castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get any information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. And I don't know if you get told this secret by someone else, but... Toad Town Underground News. At the back of the door, what is shit? I'm scribbling on the back of a notice board. How naughty. I had Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A gossip-loving toad. <laughs> uh, and hi, person whose house must make you really, really dizzy because of Jesus. Merlin is out. And all malicious fuck music is playing. It's fine, though. And yeah, yeah I'm, I'm away. He also, he's as stubborn as a mule. He rarely comes out. He can read the stars, and he totally does astrology, and it's not total fucking bullshit, or pseudoscience, or... Does it even qualify as pseudoscience? Like, is it even close enough to, um, to actual science to even qualify as fucking pseudoscience? Like, let's be honest here. Oh, by the way, astrology's bullshit. I thought I should clear that up. Yeah. Uh, where did you need a shooting star summit? You go right past Beach's castle. But it's totally fucking gone. Oops. There are these two siblings named Merlovely Lovely and Merlo. Isn't Merlot a type of wine, or an expensive wine, or a cheap wine, or some thing like that, but with a T instead? Merlovely lovely is a lovely, and, she and she'll find shit for you, and then Merlot will trade star pieces for badges, which is why I'm gotten all the fucking star pieces, badges are the sickest. It's a road sign, it will tell us where shit is, and I'm smart and I can see where shit is, but not if I read the back of it. Uh, Page of Scars, Pleasant Path, Port Station, Main Gate, got it, and there's a save box there. Hey, I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, oh, oh wow, you walked far away, didn't you? Damn. So, it's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. No, <clears throat> no go. Sorry, but no. Okay, guys. Cool. You do your thing. Look at Minty, always at the flash. She's as pretty as a rose. Aww, creepy. <laughs> Alright, Minty. Sup? 
Water and dirt, sunshine, power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of the flower garden. And uh, bob bulbs have the only known seeds, so we need to get a bunch of seeds. And they look like that. If you find a bob bulb, could you get the seeds for me and make one of the more interesting but kind of annoying if you fuck it up side quests of the game? Because it turns out to not be a side quest. Spoiler alert of how the rest of the game goes down. Uh, they stacked and then they all fell, and then we can't just climb over it, and it's super inconvenient while everything's in. So I can h jump higher than. Oh, never mind. <coughs> Fine. Alright, there's nothing here, is there? No, right, yeah, you're still building it, aren't you? I'm a customer, he's preparing, so I've got to wait a while. No, I want to talk to him. Sir, Ralph's the name. And he's setting up shop. And the. And you. you I saw it shaking. I saw this shaking. Did they get... What was that red thing that appeared above something? Oh, he's whacking it. I can see him whack it. I uh, so I think that was the case. It's the central plaza and... And... Where's the melon also is here and you get stuck and there's shit there and you can do pick up mail and there's the Ralph stuff. I do enjoy this game, like you get your normal town music and then as you walk past different people and places it just adds to the music, it's a neat touch. What's up? Greetings, the name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I was destined into this job the moment that I was given that name. <laughs> Seems like most of the people in this game are actually. Like unless everyone chooses their name like a couple years after they're born, like Gumbario was just like, I called myself Gumbario because I'm a Mario fan. And not that he was born being called Gumbario because that would be ridiculous. So it's the post office. You can read any letters you arrive or for your party members. Well, oh, I've got some mail. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. The red and blue Goombas? What? Goombario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. I don't remember if that's an actual thing. Like, if you go back to their fortress, if that, like, does anything being friends with them. I don't remember. I'm not bothered to check right now because we've already spent way too long doing absolutely nothing in this episode, but I don't care because I enjoy this. I enjoy just doing this in this game because it's fun. So, how are you going? I'll make it, I'll make it a longer than half an hour because I spent so long just talking to people doing nothing. Can't believe the castle's gone. It's kind of fucked. Lightning quick got you on your feet. What's well, because toads are the fastest people. Everyone else was taken. Yeah, there's a lot of people just in the sky now, and it's kind of fucked. Like, it's a bit ridiculous. Like, there's just a bunch of people that are just in the space right now. Like, it's kind of bullshit. Ah! Shooting Star Summit. Shooting Star Summit. Oh, I forgot how nice the music is here. And looking for something? Which I find my lovely place. We're going to do that first. Cause my love, she's my love. <laughs> I'm not into slightly sorry. Was there something over here? I thought there was something over here. Maybe it's later. I swear that picnic bench has a purpose, but it may be later. Anyway, my lovely. Sup? Hey, you going? Oh yeah, that's right. This box. It's empty. This is a weird box. Anyway, sup? Oh, I'm just going to talk to you here. So, hey Mario, if you want to talk, if, uh, talk to you over the counter to make my job official of fortune telling, which is also total bullshit, but, but, but also your arrival, Mario. My name's more lovely, I'm stunning fortune teller, and you can help find what I seek. The twinkle star will show you all that's hidden. My, my, shall I read your fortune? No. Am I seeing something? No, fuck off. Alright, let's go up the stairs. So you can't walk up these stairs, so you got to with it, you gotta mash the buttons any time to get upstairs. This is we're going. We're gonna have a nice fine below. Is that what? I don't even know if that's actually the name of the wine. I drink spirits. You, yeah, you, you have the biggest collection of star pieces. Go out and collect all the ones that are super easily found in the world for me, because I have such a big collection. All right, let let's swap. Boom. Attack effects. A. Hey, fuck yeah, that's the first one we're gonna get. Hell yeah, it is. Of course it is! How is it not going to be that? Alright, so we've got payoff, the more damage Mario um, takes, the more coins he receives. 
Um, I kind of want that now just so I can build up a bunch of coins throughout the game. Like, there's a whole bunch here that I want. And I might just save a whole bunch of coins to get the later ones. Because, like, chill out. I'm... Eh, like, I can usually vote, so it's not that much. So, but, like, the... Like, these ones I'm good with. Um, feeling fine for certain fights. Zap tap, you gotta have. You gotta get zap tap, because that's the best. Peekaboo, no, because I've scanned everyone anyway. The finders are... Eh, alright. Uh, HP drain, definitely. Money, money, definitely. Flower saver, definite. And then, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna get the payoff just so I can get some money for the beginning <coughs> of the game. So I can buy a bunch more badges. And then I'm just gonna save a bunch of these now. So we're gonna equip that as well. Because we've got. So, but yeah. Oh, I should explain why we definitely have to get this. It changes the sound of your attacks and it's awesome. And then payoff. Um, so, yeah, as we receive damage, we'll just build up coins. So. Yeah! the best oh oh the attack fx badges are the best i love them so yeah because we need a lot of money for this game and i don't remember the last time i played through it whether i was difficult whether it was difficult for me to get as much money as i needed or whether it was easy i don't remember off the top of my head but I'm, i want to be on the safe side because like, there's so much shit here to buy there's so much it's kind of ridiculous point okay now we'll actually go up to the top of shooting star summit and we'll do what we're meant to be doing and not waste everyone's time, and we're not gonna go up there first. Because <laughs> there's this here. Yes, yeah, so we're already getting another sub base. Boom. So, how many are we currently holding? We're currently holding three, so we need a shitload more before we start like getting the really good items. Look, it's a couple chapters we'll have to wait before we get like even a couple of them. But there's one particular chapter that once we get to, the amount of sub bases we'll get will increase quite quickly and rapidly after that. For reasons that will become apparent. And will be one of the most probably annoying videos that I have to do, but it's fine. Well, one of most annoying for this series. Anyway, you might recognize this mountain as being similar to the mountain that's in Galaxy. Where you like run up to the top and then interesting shit happens at the top. Although I think that wasn't, I think that was like an actual little fortress looking thing. But, the thing that's at the top of this mountain is nowhere near as interesting as Space Milk Waifu. So, you know, sad face. And we're just going to do the lap here. I don't think there's anything here, but I always check because I'm forgetful. And, this, and it's funny to just make Elsa watch us go, Mario, Ma, Mario, what are you, what are you doing? Come talk to me, Mario! And then you're just like, fine. Hi, old star. How you going? We've been waiting for you. And then pop, there we go. And everyone's here. We're the seven star spirits. And they grant the wishes to um, good people from our high and scar in Star Haven. And we got something super important to tell you. Please listen. The other day, Bowser invaded and shit, and he stole the shit, and shit was fucked. Shit was totally fucked, and it grants wishes. And that means that when someone who's fucked has a rod with fucked amounts of power, shit gets fucked. I'd like to trans Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. It's uh, he's creepy. Sars ignores such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, he got super butt mad that we were ignoring his wishes because he doesn't have any kind of self-confidence in being able to make his com um, wishes come true on his own. <laughs> uh, he seems content right now, man, because he defeated, and defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, no, I fear he'll wish for more and terrible things will happen. Yeah, that sounds like Bowser. And you gotta keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. That's why we're entrusting someone else to do everything for us. I mean, if you were just, like, doing your job properly and watch someone and were paying attention when someone's fucking sticky taped something to you, we wouldn't be in this mess, but I'm sure it's totally fine. We need help. Sadly, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. You're a weak piece of shit. He's made himself all powerful by making wishes of the Star Rod. He's terrible to behold. And once you're united in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. We are... We exhort, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. That's how powerful we are. It's exhausting to talk. It is only an illusion, which I can tell because of all the static. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you across a great distance, and the strength is fading. We've been caught in a being held by Bowser's followers in different places across the lands. Please, Mario, you must come rescue us through a bunch of different themed lands. And save the princess. Help us, Mario. You are our only hope. 
Oh, close enough. And things are a lot more serious than I thought. Fifth area. I'm not even sorry. I'm a little bit sorry. Alright, shit's fucked, yo. Save and continue. I'm not ending the episode here. Fuck you. I got so much more shit to do. We're getting another fucking page section. Which I don't think we saw. Did we even see it? We didn't even see a page the first, the first time. What am I talking about? I'm gonna have a quick drink of water because it's um, I'm thirsty. <laughs> you might be able to hear in the background the video with uh, sound. I don't even know. It's uh, currently raining outside, and I'm still sitting in my room, just fucking sweating like that, uh, like a thing that isn't a pig. And it, uh, it's hot rain right now in Sydney, and it's the fuck. Uh, oh, it's so disgusting. I mean, I, I like rain, except for when, you know, it <coughs> gets people into car accidents and they end up in the fucking hospital, but, I, uh, never mind. No, no, not, not the time or place for this discussion. <coughs> Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. That sounds like a wish. You're not what I meant, Bowser. You're not what I meant by someone helping me. Not even fucking close. I'm still smiling. Surprising. But it's high above the sky. He can't reach us up here. Unless he gets into a giant awesome fuck off cannon in one of the coolest scenes in the game. Oh wait, that's not this one. Yep, as long as I hold this, but I keep holding really high above my head just waiting for someone to just like go thunk, because I'm just like holding it so precariously above my head. It's mine and no one can defeat me while I'm holding it. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, your subjects. I deserve it for the way they've treated us Coopers over the years. You guys are dicks, though! You guys are actual dicks! Uh, uh, think about it. You take care. Enjoy your stay. Better not cause trouble, blah ha 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 And the whole time, like, Peach is just standing there, just blank face, smiling, going, Please don't kill me. If only someone could help me. Oh no, birds flying into the windows in space? What? That doesn't make sense. Ah, there we go. Hello! Oh, it's the best theme of the game! He has said for the third time in the very short LP already. Hello, Princess Peach! Pleased to meet you! My name is Otto. You're a star ki- ha I'm starving to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, yeah, of course, yay, thank you, go, go and get that server back from Bowser, and think you can do it, aww, Bear's upset, it's a little much for a novice star like me, maybe one of those honorable star spirits from Star Haven could grant a wish like that, something s small, some, um, something easy, something a small star can do, could you take me away from here? And I have to save them all as soon as possible. Can't do that either. So I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. Can you get me someone who's fucking competent? Just if you, I just wanted to turn around and say that. More splendid star I could actually help instead of be a useful piece of shit. Don't be sad. Mario will definitely do something. He's probably coming right now. Yeah, can you find him? And give this to him. A medal of me? That's not weird or creepy at all that you already have this. Alright, I'll fly down to Mario and take it as soon as I can. Oh, I gotta do a couple spins around first. Can you also tell Mario that I'm fine and he shouldn't worry? It's total bullshit. You were just being like, someone please help me. It's total bullshit, Peach. No one believes you. No one cares about your horn either, person who was outside beeping your horn. Jump! You've got the umbrella, you'll fl float down to the grounds and you'll be fine. And you also have your dress hovering powers, which I don't get either. God, that, that, so, that com comedic effect of just... Of that... Like, after that poignant scene of just, like, please help me, and then just... Anyway, get ready for it, get ready for it, get ready for it, DONK! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm in a huge hurry! <gasps> Yay! 
Yay, I'm a Mario! You, it's a you, Mario. You know, Mario's face looks really weird if you assume that his moustache is just a massive big open mouth. <laughs> I don't know why that thought just came into my head. How'd you do? I'm... Daddy? I don't know. I'm trying my best here. Try my best. Yes, here it is! I somehow lost it in all of my pockets that I have that could fit this star. Yay, lucky star! Let's use the action command! Yay, the gameplay now has gameplay. Woot. Alright, you can use the action commands. Yes, explain it. Everyone probably knows what it is, but I love it so much. Behind me, would you mind helping? I'm good Mario, of course I'll help. Because you just can't have a fucking game with a Goomba in it where for some reason you've got to fight the Goomba and so it's like, make it out like the Goomba's the bad guy. Alright. <clears throat> Jump on his head and somehow not instantly kill him. The command of the action will, will appear. And then right now, press the bonk, there we go. Ow. When you, you increase the amount of damage that you do. And Kabario, you attack Mario. Here it comes. And then, right now, press A just before it strikes you. Yeah. Boom. Reduce the amount of damage you receive. All different attacks have different types of commands. Seriously, this is the reason why Stick of Truth is such a good game as well. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole bunch of reasons that Stick of Truth is a good game as well, but... Um, yeah, this is especially this. This is what I don't get. Like, the, I, the action commands for the jumping is like... It's not, like, it's not super difficult, but it's not a gimme. It, you do have to pay attention. But for the hammer one, it's so easy. Alright, if you're done, end training. I'm gonna end training. Seriously, like, the hammer one is so easy. You just hold, 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 let go at the star. Like, it gives you the star and it shows you. But for the jumping, it doesn't show you anything. It'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Oh, you're not Kamek. Yeah, it's regular old Magic Cooper. What a foolish star kid. Oh, no. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. Bowser couldn't do it powered up by the Star Rod. Okay, someone has delusions of fucking grandeur. To an unbelievable and crazy extent. Alright, Magic Cooper. The fuck's wrong with you? Your magical rods. Def uh, HP 8, attack power 3, defense 0. They're no joke, you better take these guys seriously. Okay. Boom! Yep, serious. Oh! Ah, oh, damn it. I, I, I'm I don't know why it is, but... I'm nowhere near as good as the timing in this game compared to, like, um, Thousand Year Door. I fuck up a lot of them in this, I don't know if it's because this game's stricter or, um... Like, the timing is different and I played Thousand Year Door first, so I'm always trying to do it as if it's Thousand Year Door. Did I mention that before? That like this, uh, even though I played Thousand Year Door first and I played this one afterwards, I still like really enjoyed this game despite Thousand Year Door being better in almost every single way. You're strong as you say, I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser, fuck yeah! And you're gonna return to her side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. See you later! Bye! Bam! So, <laughs> I almost forgot to give you a message. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. No, she's very lonely. There you go, go keep her company. Get her the Vibe Scepter, she'll be really not lonely then. They're never gonna let that down, they're never gonna let it down. This is not gonna happen. What a brave little guy. Twink is actually pretty awesome. Alright, let's continue spinning on the fuck out of here. Whee! Yeah. Boom, we've got action commands, we've got some awesome badges, um, some other shit's probably happened. So, did, did you change your dialogue since it's coming? Oh, that I made it. Uh, I don't know what kind of chance we'd have. Ruining is saved. Yeah, there we go. I think, like, almost everyone's dialogue will change, but I'm not gonna go through every NPC's dialogue between, like, every chapter, because that's too much. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in the house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. 
It's rare that some, uh, for Merlin to call someone over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Well, when I went to actually go in his house before, he wasn't there. So you know what? Now that he's in his house, he can fucking wait until the next episode. Oh, did you fucking see how I tied that all together? God damn it, I'm awesome. <laughs> Ah, uh, not even that much, but I like thinking it. it makes me not as sad. Point is, next episode we're going to see Merlin. So until then, this is version 2. Signing out. I forgot what words I had to say at the end of the episode. That's why it took me a while. It was kind of embarrassing. Don't worry, just forget about it.